Well, good afternoon. Dave here. I just arrived at the Best Buy in my hometown uh, here in Austin, and um, they're doing curbside service. Yesterday, I, w I came by and they told me I had to do it online. I had to place an order. If I want to place an order with Best Buy, I had to do it online and then I can come by and pick it up. Well, I entered my credit card information and it said declined. I, I entered my my Best Buy card. It said decline also. I mean, heck, I have my Best Buy card is paid off in full. My credit cards are paid off in full. How could it be declined? I was like, my gosh, I was pissed. Um, As I was saying, uh, I had uh, I had picked up dinner and I gobbled it down, a little piece of chicken. Um, boy, I almost hit that rail. There's a lot of rails going on right now because um, we're getting ready for the uh, for the watermelon season um, we're still doing the onions we're doing great with the onions um, but the um, watermelon is starting to grow on us already the fields are pretty much filled up right now. We got some humongous plants out there, very healthy. Very healthy plants. Um, And as you can see, we're finishing up with the uh, the onions here. <coughs> but anyways, nothing to report about the coronavirus today. I. I keep hearing um, more people getting infected in here in Travis County. We had one confirmed death today, but um, I didn't get too much into detail on it anymore. Um, I got a feeling that this coronavirus is going to end up staying here. Uh, President Trump is going to end up opening up the economy, which it, it is advisable because people want to People want to come back to work, you know. They don't want to. They had a good long month vacation by sitting at home. At least some of them. A lot of them I hear are sitting at the county jail because they were caught looting, looting around, knowing that that everybody was at home. But um, a lot of people sitting in jail for that. That and a 190 days in jail and a thousand dollar fine is what the governor had said. Um, but um, it's almost over. Um, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that if the president opens up the, the economy and people start coming back to normal. I mean, the virus is going to be here. 
it hasn't left. Um, I got a feeling that by opening it up, there's going to be more. I suspect there's going to be a rise of people getting more infected more often now. Uh, and if that's happening, it's like if the 30 days that we went through vacation or that you all went through vacation, uh, sitting at home didn't, didn't work. So that's, that's the only thing that would kind of freak me out that if we open up the economy and find out that there's a rise of the, of the death toll going on here in the United States, it's like it, then everybody's going to blame Trump. Pretty much because he's opening up the economy, even though the people are crying. Hey, we need to get back to work. We need, you know, we need to start making money. And it's, you know, it it's normal. I know. I know how you feel. Uh, on, on my case, I'm. I still get to work because I'm an essential worker in the farming industry. So um, I am exempt from staying at home. Um, even though it probably would have been a good idea, but. Um, I'm hoping that if this thing dies down just enough so they can open up the airline in in industry so they can open up uh, I mean guys I have a I got flight tickets already paid for I got hotel tickets or hotel stays already paid for uh, so, I, so I can go on vacation in s September take my cameras and uh, I've got I got about a week and a half to do deep sea deep sea diving, shipwreck diving in the uh, in the oceans of the uh, Philippine Sea. You know, I'm 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 going over to the Philippines for 14, 15 days to relax from the everyday stress that we all come upon here at work. Um, I only get a vacation every year, so my vacation is coming up in September. Hopefully. Hopefully I don't have to cancel that. I hope not. <laughs> Anyways, I'm talking too much. Um, people in the Philippines, hope you all are doing okay. Hopefully this thing, uh, I have a feeling that it's not going to go away, but maybe your president will open up the economy again and get people to work again because um, it's not good to stay at home and not make any money. Acting here by the uh, by the side of the road, y'all can see. Um, Mike, can you turn the camera that way a bit? Hold on a second. Um, this is my daily report for today. You all have a good day, and be safe out there. Follow the uh, guidelines by whatever authority from wherever your country you're at. Uh, follow the guidelines that whatever the government tells you that you need to do. Um, and good luck and stay alive. May God bless.